There are a lot of creatures that live in different bodies of water from all around the world. The ocean might have the most diverse ecosystem, but there are still plenty of creatures in our rivers, lakes, and ponds. While most creatures that live in the water are pretty amazing, there are terrifying ones among them that you'd rather not encounter while in the water. I'm talking about venomous and deadly creatures that can end your life in a matter of minutes. From the horrifying giant Amazon leech to the small but terrible Irukandji jellyfish, if you see this while swimming, get out of the water right away. Number 15. Giant Amazon Leech Heimateria giliani, or in simpler terms, the giant Amazon leech. Just looking at this creature will make you immediately want to keep your distance. This creature is a blood-sucking monster that can grow up to a massive 18 inches long and about 4 inches wide, making it the largest leech in the world. They may be monstrous, but don't get me wrong. Leech bites are generally not dangerous or painful, and not all of them suck blood. Some leeches are used by some medical practitioners as mini vacuums to clean up the blood. From the 1890s until the 1970s, this creature was thought to have gone extinct, but it made a comeback once again. When they were rediscovered, researchers at UC Berkeley successfully established a breeding colony for them. If researchers aren't wary of these creatures, why should we avoid them? Their bites might not be deadly, but they are pretty bothersome. And if you're incredibly unfortunate, there's a chance that their bite can be lethal. There have been rare cases where a man died because of a massive number of leech bites. Leech bites can cause a blood infection in very rare cases, which can be lethal. Improperly removing leeches off of you can cause these nasty little creatures to regurgitate, which can cause bacteria from their gut to transfer into your bloodstream. They might look disgusting, but these creatures are pretty weak to salt just like slugs and earthworms. Just a little salt can easily draw water out of them, which makes it incredibly effective against them. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Electric Eel Electric eels might look like harmless serpent-like creatures, but there are some pretty shocking things about them. Pun intended. Electric eels are known to be one of the most frightening creatures you can encounter in the Amazon, but it's not because of their aggressiveness. They're not hot-headed creatures, and they mostly stay away from humans. These guys can be found in the murky waters of the Amazon and Orinoco basins of South America. Electric eels are nocturnal animals, and their eyesight is pretty poor, so they rely on electric signals to move around, find prey, and find a mate. But if they're ever triggered, these creatures can deliver a strong shock that can stun small fish. And in some instances, some electric catfish can emit enough power to knock a horse off its feet. They can do this thanks to the thousands of specialized cells in their bodies called electrocytes that can produce up to 860 volts of electric shock. As I've said, these guys are rarely a threat to humans, but if you're unlucky enough to come across them, there's a chance that they can end your life with multiple shocks. This is enough to cause respiratory distress or heart failure, or you might just end up drowning after a stunning jolt. Number 13. Dubois Sea Snake This is the Apisaurus Duboisi, most commonly known as the Dubois Sea Snake, or Reef Shallow Sea Snake. This deadly snake can be found in most parts of the world, including Papua New Guinea, some coastal areas of Australia, the Timor Sea, and the Indian Ocean where they can live at depths of a staggering 262 feet. These sea snakes come in different colors and different patterns, but their chin and throat are visibly lighter than the rest of their bodies. These creatures are incredible predators, and they're known to eat the equally deadly moray eel. These sea snakes are known to be moody creatures that won't hesitate to bite if provoked. It's known as the most venomous sea snake, and it's currently recognized as one of the three most venomous snakes on land and in water in the whole world. If you ever encounter these creatures and you happen to get bitten by one, imminent death is assured unless you get medical treatment as soon as possible. Number 12. Flamboyant Cuttlefish The flamboyant cuttlefish does its name justice with its flashy colors and incredibly long and broad arms. They usually grow between 2 to 3 inches in length and come in neutral colors with a mix of yellow, orange, brown, and pink. But these creatures are known to be able to mimic the environment around them, which makes them able to blend in with their surroundings to camouflage. They're scattered in shallow waters between 10 to 200 feet deep, and their habitats range from the northern Australian coast to the waters of Sulawesi. 
These creatures are one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean, although unless you consume them, they're technically harmless creatures. The flamboyant cuttlefish is one of the favorite subjects of underwater photographers and videographers because of their vibrant colors. But for predatory animals underwater, it serves as a warning that they will succumb to death if they ever try to consume the cuttlefish. Number 11. Fire Corals Fire corals may look like corals, and the word is literally in their name, but these creatures are members of the Cnidaria phylum and a member of the class Hydrozoa, which means they're closely related to jellyfish and other stingers in the ocean, like anemones. For this reason, these creatures are avoided by divers, but beginner divers often fall victim to these creatures. They're typically found in tropical and subtropical waters all over the world, and just like true corals, the fire coral only stays in one place and attaches itself to a rock or seaweed. What exactly makes fire corals dangerous? Just as their name suggests, this vile creature has a fiery sting. They have minimal toxicity, but they can inflict incredible pain that makes the victims feel as if their skin is burning. The fiery sensation can range from mild to moderate, and it can last for several hours, accompanied by stinging skin rashes. However, in some rare cases, a person might suffer from an allergic reaction upon getting stung by a fire coral, which may ultimately lead to death. Number 10. Kandiru The Amazon has one of the most diverse ecosystems on Earth, and it's also filled with fearsome animals that you wouldn't want to ever encounter. Among these tiny creatures is a tiny water-dwelling animal that's surrounded by nasty rumors. This is the kandaroo, known as one of the fearsome fish that you can encounter in the Amazon. Upon looking at this creature, you'll probably wonder just how dangerous a 3 to 5 centimeter fish can be. At most, they can grow up to 20 centimeters, but these guys neither have huge fangs or venom, so some people aren't wary about them. That is, until they hear the nasty backstory of this fish. These slender fish lurk on the murky bottom of the river where it preys on other fish to consume their blood. A kandaroo will attach itself to the fish by fastening its large, expandable, disc-like mouth. This is where it gets interesting. The kandaroo would then penetrate the victim's gills and drill itself deeper to draw blood from the poor creature. This fish is barely the size of our hands, and yet humans are terrified of them because they're said to invade a person's crotch. Yep, you heard that right. Legends say that the kandaroo is attracted to urine, so if a person ever makes the mistake of doing their business in the river, the kandaroo might find its way towards you and drill itself inside a person's private part. The victim might manage to grab the fish and pull it out before it's too late, but by then, their backward pointing barbs will inflict serious and excruciating pain during the process. But so far, this is just a legend, and we aren't too sure whether these creatures will try to invade your body if they ever become aware of your presence in the water. The basis of these claims is mostly anecdotal, and so far, there's no verified case of this happening. But just to be safe, I'd rather avoid this fish at all costs. Number 9. Titan Triggerfish If you've been diving for a long time now, then you've probably already heard about the Titan Triggerfish. Just as their name implies, these creatures are gigantic compared to other species of triggerfish that belong to the same family. They can grow up to 30 inches long and can weigh about 30 pounds. They're usually green or dark gray with black margins on their fins. These creatures can be found in Australia, Fiji, Thailand, the Philippines, Indonesia, the Maldives, and the Red Sea. If you ever find yourself in these areas, it's best to keep your eye out for the Titan triggerfish. If you're not careful, and they encounter you in the wrong place at the wrong time, they just might attack you and give you bruises, wounds, or even a missing body part. They're pretty chill most of the time, but they get very aggressive and easily triggered when you so much as look their way underwater during nesting season, which is usually around April or May. At this time, they turn incredibly territorial, and they'll do their best to protect their nests. These guys are known to chase divers off far into the distance away from their nests. One of the most obvious signs that a triggerfish is in fight mode is when it rolls onto its side and gives you the stink eye. If you spot it doing this, it'll be just a matter of seconds before it rushes towards you to attack. Their teeth are pretty painful, so beware. In some extreme cases, a triggerfish even caused one diver to lose a piece of its scalp, which isn't a very pretty scene to picture. Number 8. Box Jellyfish They might look like floating pieces of transparent plastic, but these creatures are among the most venomous animals in the world. 
presenting the deadly box jellyfish, also known as sea wasps and marine stingers. Just from their nicknames alone, you can tell what makes them deadly. They can be found in coastal waters off northern Australia as well as the Indo-Pacific. They might be hard to spot when you're not looking hard enough, but they are bell-shaped creatures that are usually pale blue and transparent in color. They have up to 15 tentacles, and each one has a whopping 5,000 stinging cells. They're quite mesmerizing to watch while in the ocean, but don't ever make the mistake of coming in contact with their stingers. Their venom has potent toxins that target the heart, nervous system, and skin cells. You'd be lucky to just get away with severe pain, but their venom is so lethal that it can cause shock and heart failure. Some victims are also known to drown because of the excruciating pain. Their sting can last several days to weeks, and they usually turn into scars after healing. For this reason, it's best just to be wary of any jellyfish you see in the water and know whether they can harm you or not before you take the risk of swimming. Number 7. Blue Spotted Ribbon Tail Ray the blue-spotted ribbon-tail ray is quite adorable, and they're among the most charming creatures in the ocean with their oval shape and vibrant blue spots. They can be found in the Indo-Pacific region, including the waters of the Indian Ocean from South America to the Arabian Peninsula to Southeast Asia. It's quite easy to identify these creatures. They're usually oval and have large protruding eyes. They can grow up to 14 inches across, about 31 inches long, and can weigh up to 11 pounds. They're pretty small compared to other rays, which adds to their adorableness. But don't make the mistake of thinking these creatures are harmless. These creatures are packed with venom that can cause incredible pain. Their venom can be found in their tail spines, and if you ever get wounded by them, excruciating pain is guaranteed. Despite this fact, these guys are popular in the home aquarium trade, and they're most often sought by hobbyists. I guess their cuteness is worth the price of risking their painful venom. Number 6. Crown of Thorn Starfish Just from their name alone, you can tell that the Crown of Thorn Starfish is a pretty prickly and spiky fella. Just take a look at these nasty sharp thorns. The Crown of Thorn Starfish is not only harmful to the unfortunate humans that accidentally step on them, but they are also voracious coral killers. These creatures are seen as threats to coral reefs in the Indo-Pacific region, where almost 1,000 of them cover each hectare. These creatures are the second largest starfish in the world, and they can grow over one and a half feet wide. These creatures are like parasites that easily spread, and they can produce more than 50 million eggs in the course of a breeding season. Whenever this happens, the reef system where they spread is in danger of being completely destroyed in just a matter of weeks. These creatures do live up to their names because they have been thorns in the researchers' sides for years with a number of problems they cause for the coral systems. Number 5. Stargazer The Stargazer might sound like a dreamy name, but this creature's appearance and abilities say otherwise. I mean, just take a look at this fella. It wouldn't be a stretch to call them the weirdest looking fish in the ocean, with their wonky eyes located at the top of their heads. Their eyes are the reason why they got their names in the first place. Because of their placement and positioning, they always look as if they're constantly looking upwards. These creatures are found in the deep sea and shallow waters of the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. They have flat bodies and large heads, and they can grow anywhere between 8 to 22 inches in length. The stargazer fish commonly eat fish, crabs, and other crustaceans. After seeing it hunt, you'll understand the reason why their eyes look goofy. These creatures hunt by burying themselves in the sand with their eyes looking upward and their mouth sticking out. They blend in quite nicely, so the poor victim will have no clue that they're swimming right on top of a predator until they're being sucked into its mouth. As if they aren't menacing enough for other sea creatures, they can also be pretty annoying for humans. These guys have two large spines above their pectoral fins, which can inflict pretty painful stings. Their venom won't kill you, but in rare cases, it can induce shock or other severe reactions, which will ultimately lead to death. And now it's time for today's topic. This photo shows a monstrous fish almost the size of a human, but it appears to have already perished. After scouring the internet, we found out that this is a seven foot long tuna fish that was found dead in the River Severn in the United Kingdom. What makes this unusual is that the seven foot long fish is hundreds of miles away from its normal habitat in warm seawaters. The size of the fish is incredible, but it's unclear how it ended up in the Severn. Tunas are generally harmless, but seeing a fish this size can be quite surprising and pretty intimidating. 
especially if you don't know what or who caused the animal to perish. So if you ever see this while swimming, get out of the water right away. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Brain-Eating Amoeba Now this next creature just might be a little bit different from the others. While you can see the previous creatures, you have no idea if the brain-eating amoeba has infected you already. The name brain-eating amoeba might just be a bit intimidating for many. Formally, this creature is known as Negleria phaleri. It might sound intimidating, but it doesn't look intimidating. Probably because you can't see it in the first place. It's a tiny, single-celled organism that's found in warm freshwater and soil. They thrive in warm environments and still water like ponds and lakes. And sometimes they might even flourish in unclean swimming pools. Contrary to its name though, this organism doesn't eat your brain. Instead, it causes serious brain damage that leads to swelling and ultimately death. This amoeba can only infect you if it manages to enter your system through your nose. At first, it might start with just a simple headache, vomiting, or fever. Once the initial symptoms develop, they'll rapidly take a turn for the worse. The victim might experience hallucinations, seizures, and confusion. Ultimately, these symptoms can lead to death. You don't need to worry, though, because infections are extremely rare. These organisms won't be able to thrive in clean, cold water. They're only known to thrive during the extended summer months, especially amid severe heat waves. Number 3. Sailfish The sailfish is pretty recognizable thanks to their unique upper and lower jaw that looks like built-in spears. These fish are usually blue to gray with white underbellies. They're found throughout the warm and temperate waters of the world. These guys usually prey on schools of smaller fish like sardines and anchovies, so they don't particularly have any desire to harm humans. However, once you see their bills in action, you'll surely have some second thoughts about encountering these creatures. You might think that they use their bills like spears, but instead, these creatures use their bills to slash their prey. Just take a look at how fiercely they hunt. Now imagine if you had been accidentally slashed by one. It would surely be a painful wound. Number 2. Blue Dragon The blue dragon is one of the ocean creatures that will teach you that not everything that looks pretty or cute is friendly. This might look like an adorable, harmless creature, but the blue dragon packs quite the sting. This ornate creature only grows up to 3 centimeters long and sometimes a tad bit over an inch. It's an absolute joy to observe because it usually floats on its back with its bright colored underbelly exposed in bird's eye view. That's why these creatures are also known as blue angels, which strangely fits their appearance. You might have the urge to pick this little fellow up upon seeing it, but trust me, touching these creatures will be the worst decision of your life. Blue dragons might be tiny, but they have the same sting as the dangerously venomous Portuguese man of war. Just one sting from this creature can cause you to experience pretty serious symptoms from nausea, pain, vomiting, and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. They're not venomous by themselves, but they get their venom whenever they feed on their preferred prey, which is none other than the deadly Portuguese man of war. The man of war is a bunch of organisms that form together to create a venomous being with up to 30 foot long tentacles. So if you ever see these cute creatures, you can look all you want but you're better off just admiring them from afar. Number 1. Irukanji Jellyfish Take a look at this creature inside a tiny clear plastic vial. I bet you'd never believe me if I say that this is one of the most venomous species of jellyfish. The Irukanji jellyfish is a type of box jellyfish that are both the smallest and one of the most lethal jellyfish in the whole world. These creatures usually inhabit the northern waters of Australia. They're extremely tiny, and an adult can only grow up to about a cubic centimeter. You can hold these creatures easily, but they're known to fire their stingers at their victims, which can cause a very terrifying syndrome called Irukanji. This syndrome can cause extremely painful cramps, severe pain in the back and kidneys, burning sensation of the skin, high blood pressure, headaches, and a psychological state where the victim just feels their impending doom. It sounds pretty hellish, which is why many avoid these small but terrible creatures. Have you ever encountered any of these creatures while swimming? Do you know any other terrifying creatures that you think should be included in this list? Be sure to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments. 
Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.